How's it going guys? Brandon here for my comic reviews this week. First off, we got Venom number one. I was really excited for this book, hoping it would deliver, and it did. We got Rick Remender writing, beautiful artwork by Tony Moore, and it's just an awesome idea they're doing with the symbiote, where they're using it as a black ops suit with Flash Thompson, who's, you know, trained military. I see this book going in so many awesome directions. I hope we keep Tony Moore on the artist because he is just, he is my absolute favorite. He's so cool, awesome direction, awesome first issue. I give this five out of five nerd skulls. My second review this week is the Legion of Super Villains one shot time to the Legion of Super Heroes uh, series going on right now. I'm not that big of a Legion fan, but it was definitely a fun read. Uh, looks like big things are gonna be happening for the Legion. You got a uh, Saturn Queen, you got a uh, Lightning Lord, you know, some normal villains that you haven't seen in a while since they restarted it. Like I said, Legion's not my thing, but you got really good artwork. It's written really very well. I'm gonna give this three out of five nerd skulls. Hey guys, Jasmine here with my comic book reviews of the week. My first book is a Marvel book. It's actually like sort of their indie line, like how DC has Vertigo. It's called Sigil. It's issue number one. It's really cool, the art. I was really afraid it was gonna be terrible because of the cover, because usually with, with cheaper indie books, the cover art's beautiful and then the inside's like kind of crappy. Um, in this case, it was, it, was, it was pretty good actually, I really liked it. Um, well written and obviously well illustrated. Kind of a boring story. But it's also because, you know, who wants to read about a girl who dreams about random stuff, which is what this book is about. Um, so, if you like indie books, if you like things that don't have superheroes in them, no capes, I would definitely check it out. Otherwise, meh, nah, wasn't really for me. And I do like indie books, so that's saying something. Give it like two out of five nerd skulls. The other book I'm reviewing is actually something I'm reading out of my personal collection. It's called Why the Last Man, and I'm reading the first volume. I think they're up to like almost 10. It's a really good book. Um, first off, it's a Vertigo book, and what I love most, um, just looking at it, is the fact that it doesn't have, like, actual comic book paper, it has, like, newspaper paper, which is sort of a cool throwback, and you don't like it at first, and then you get used to it, like, halfway through the book. Um, great story, Last Man on Earth, they're trying to figure out why this guy and his little helper monkey, who's also a male, made it through, like, the male apocalypse, so it's pretty cool, you have, like, actual Amazons running around who, like, cut off one boob, which is awful, so, like, you can, like, be better archers and stuff. I thought it was pretty sweet, well-written, beautiful art, great story. I gave it five nerd skulls. If I could give it more, I totally would. 